pray for the one that's on the prayer list, asking you to pray with me as we pray for Deacon Billy Hill, Mother Beatrice Marshall, Mother Lily Thomas, Brother Stevenson, Brother Ricky Reed, Sister Grayson, Reverend Irene Rocker, Reverend Nona Keel, Overseer Bridget Anderson, Elder Loretta Jackson, Sister Maggie Ross, Reverend Donald Sterling and family, Overseer Shannon, Sister Teresa Hope, Herman Lockett, Brother and Sister Chambers, Brother Christopher Smith, Brother Michael Williams, Elder Emma Kelly, Deacon Greater Manasseh, Brother Patrick Manasseh, Sister Loretta Williams, Harold Irving, uh, Sister Deason Watts, Loretta Thomas, Sharon King, Shante Robinson, the Cox family, Reverend Dart, the Black family, the Salter family, Pastor Temple, Craig Houston, Raquanda Trotter, Sister Kara Peterson, Kimberly Bowling, <clears throat> Mother Ruthie Hall, and Elder Moncia Thomas. Pray with us at this time. We thank you, O oh God, for another day that you have spared our lives again. Thanking you, Lord, for all your many blessings you have bestowed upon us. Lord, we thank you for your divine protection. You have protected us all through the day and brought us back to the house of prayer one more time. Asking you, O oh God, to look on the ones that's on this prayer list. Lord, you know their situation. Lord, we're asking you to go in each room in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your healing virtue go forth in your great name. Asking you, O oh God, to let all your healing scriptures be applied to their lives from Genesis to Revelation. Asking you, O oh God, to raise them up in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your blood and your name be applied. Let your word be applied. Lord, because we know it's healing in your name. It's healing in the word. Lord, we know what you can do in the name of Jesus. Lord, we know you to be a healer. We know you to be a savior, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Asking your God to cool scorching fevers in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we depending on you. No other help we know but you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Asking your God to look on the unsaved everywhere, to touch their minds and heart and give them a mind and want to run to you before it's a time too late. Asking your God to look on the bereaved families, Lord. Lord, encourage their hearts in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we know you to be a comforter, Lord, in the time of trouble. Yes, Lord, we asking your God to come now. Come now in the name of Jesus. Asking your God to look on the pastor as he bring the priest's word. Asking your God to let him down deeper in your word that he may feed your sheep and feed your lamb. Lord, these and other blessings we ask in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Bishop Kirk. Time, time.
spend time with God. Amen. Because time is winding up. Amen. We do honor the Lord tonight <clears throat> in the presence of those who are here that work so faithfully. Amen. We, we, we thank God for them and thank God for those who work so faithfully on Sunday. Amen. Amen. And the men for putting up the tent that was up on time. Amen. Amen. Other folk had work to do, they were right on time. Amen. So we just thank God for all things in Jesus' name. Uh, tonight, we don't purpose to hold you long. We want to bring you a lesson that you probably already know. Amen. Just want to re remind you to do what does say the Lord.
let it go. Amen. If you think uh, that you are standing, uh, the word is telling you to be careful. Amen. Mm -hmm. That you don't fall. Be careful that you don't fall. Because you can fall. All right. The high break you think you are, you can fall. Hallelujah. If you think you stand, mm -hmm. yeah, be careful. Because you can fall. That you don't fall. You can fall. All right. In other words, you be watchful and watch the things you say, how you talk, the things you do. Because you can fall. Amen. Amen. And, and the word of God let us know that no temptation right. in you but such as is coming to me. God won't put things, won't allow, well, God don't put it on your nose, All but right. he doesn't allow things to attack you. Hallelujah. That, that men have, have not, you know, uh, uh, been encountered with, uh, that they can't handle. Amen. The things that happened to Jesus Christ, we wouldn't be able to go through that. All right. uh -huh. So, those, uh, those things that he went through with is not common to man. It's not known that man uh, that have any man has ever been through the things that Jesus Christ went through with. Amen. It's not common. It's not natural for you to encounter those things. Uh, the word of God, the word of God says, but God is faithful. Amen. God is faithful. He's always there for us. Never uh, somewhere else where he shouldn't be. He's always, you know, on the thing that is happening. If somebody, somebody else said, like, on his job, working with us, keeping us, keeping us from falling. Amen. Amen. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. He knows. Amen. It, it's wonderful that God knows. And he knows for a reason. But will, with temptation, also make a way to escape. Amen. That ye may be able to bear it. God had a way already made All right. for us to escape. God will intervene. He'll come in and rescue you. Hallelujah. When you think that you can't make it, he will do it. Hallelujah. He'll take us through. But if you think you are standing, be careful. Amen. Mm -hmm. If you don't fall, you be watchful, prayerful. Tell God to help you. You know, that, that's what I do all the time. I'm crying out to the Lord. Lord, help me. Help me. Amen. Do. And you know, and the Lord would come by. And he, he would cheer you up. God would deliver you. And you would, you, you would know that God is working right now. That God is bringing me out. God is protecting me. Yeah, he is that very present right. in time of trouble. Amen. The Bible let us know for, for in that he himself has suffered. Amen. Being tempted. He himself has suffered. Being tempted. He is able to support them Amen. that are tempted. God is able to help us yeah. because what he has been tempted, he has suffered in temptation. And now I don't think that again that any man, somebody said, what about Job? He didn't, he wasn't, he wasn't tempted like Jesus Christ. All right. He didn't, he wasn't tried like him. Hallelujah. He stood alone in a category all by himself being tempted. Amen. All the temptation, the thing that happened to us, trials that we go through with, all right. Jesus knows yeah. because he was tempted on all points. He been through it. Amen. And, and him going through these things, he won't allow. Amen. Hallelujah. What a wonderful what a great God. What a mighty God. Hallelujah. You ought to love him. You ought to love him because 
There's some things that could come up on you that could overtake you and call you to fall. But God is standing there in between. He had great high priest that's standing in between. Won't allow okay. those things to come upon us. Hallelujah. Thank God. Thank God. Hallelujah. I will, I will explain to the athletes, you know, he's that one that is blocking. So, All right. Yeah, he, he keeps those things back from you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he's able, what? He's able to hold you right where you are. Thank you, Jesus. The enemy is, is forever trying to defeat you, trying to bring you down. But thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. He won't allow it. Right. Thank you, Jesus. You keep crying out to him. Amen. As you go through, keep praying to him. Keep praying, lift your hands up to him. And tell God. Sometimes when you don't have words, you say, tell God to help me, Lord. He Amen. don't. But tell him to help me. Let him know you appreciate his help. Is that right? Yeah, Amen. let him know. Romans 6 and 14. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. Amen. The Bible tells us. For sin for shall sin not have shall dominion not have. over you. The Bible tells us that sin shall not be your master. That's right. Sin won't have, have the dominion over you. But it's you. not able to defeat yeah. you. It's not able to bring you down. When you've yeah. done the thing God asked you to do in his holy word. Amen. There's a word I use to tell you. I, I said, if you do everything in the word of God right. that God asks us to do, honey, I can guarantee you that you'll make it to heaven. If you do everything, hallelujah. If you do it like God said, you'll make it in. Somebody wanted to thank you. Man. Yeah, it, hallelujah. Jesus said, my yoke is easy Amen. and my burdens are light. You can make it. You can make it. Amen. The word of God said here again, for, for sin, sin shall not have, shall dominion, not have over dominion over you. For you are not under the for law. you are not under the law. But under grace. But under grace. Thank God for yeah. grace. His grace is sufficient. His grace is sufficient. Amen. Sin will not uh -huh, be your master. Amen. It won't be able to defeat you. Uh, because we are not under the law anymore, but we're under grace. Amen. Hallelujah. That unmerited favor of God. Hallelujah. God has grace. God has mercy on us. Amen. And I thank God for Jesus. Amen. I thank God for the grace of God. Hallelujah. Sometimes you think that you're not going to make it. Sometimes you think going to be defeated. Thank God you're not. You feel like I can't go through it. I can't make it. But all of a sudden, here come God. Amen. Hallelujah. He'll step right in, right on time. How we say it? Hallelujah. He may not come when you, when you want him. He may not come when you want him to Amen. come. Amen. But he's always on time. He knows when to show up. Is that Amen. right? Yeah. He knows when. So just know in your heart that uh, sin shall not be your master. Sin won't defeat you. Amen. Hallelujah. If you put it all in God's hand. Put it all in God's hand. All right. Amen. Amen. So many is falling to sin in the time that we're living in. Yeah. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised those who are falling. They're falling by the day. Let me tell you, if you continue in it, God won't show you up. Amen. God won't show you up. Is that right? That's because right. you don't trust in Him. Amen. Help is there for you, but you still won't trust Him. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. The Word of God let us know. That Word have I hidden in my heart yeah. that I might not sin against me. Keep His Word in your heart. In your mind. Amen. And I, I can assure you that you uh you'll be able to stand, you'll be able to go through by just keeping his word. His word has nourishment for you. It, it has deliverance for you. It, it has the, the, the thing that you really need in order to make it. Whatever your situation is, 
God has a word for you. Amen. Amen. He has a word for you for the troubles that you're in. Hallelujah. That's why you want to hide as much as you can of his word in your heart. And, and, and let me tell you this. If you don't know it, then go and look up a situation. Amen. Go and look up a situation that David or, or some of the others had. And God, hallelujah, will let you understand that he'll take you through it just like he did David. Amen. If, if you find something in the Bible that God did for others, honey, he'll do it for you. Yes. Amen. Hide his word in your heart. Because mm -hmm. you don't want to sin, honey. That's right. You don't want to sin. Amen. I think that's one of the worst things that an individual in the church can do is be sinners. Amen. The word says that I might not, that I might not, that I might not sin Amen. against thee, against God. Hallelujah. I don't want to do anything against my God. I love him too much. I love him too much. And he loved me. Amen. Hallelujah. And you ought to be, you ought to be careful to leave sin alone. Leave it alone. Don't let it rain in your mortal body. Amen. Thank God. I'm almost through, y'all. Almost through tonight. Thank God for Jesus. Amen. Amen. You don't want to be enticed. All right. Hallelujah. To do wrong. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. You and 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 and, and you want to do things that is pleasing in God's sight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. You ought to thank God. All right. Hey, there's no trials that is developed that can bring you down. Hallelujah. God has been through all, and He won't let those trials come upon you. Hallelujah. He got it fixed. He got it fixed. Quit always thinking about defeat. Amen. Defeat. Yeah. As a young man, I always thought about. I was trained to think about victory. <laughs> Hallelujah. I, I lost some battles. All right. But I was, I was trained not to lose battles. Then I was trained not to accept battles and whenever we lost. That's the way we work as athletes. Hallelujah. But I found out that you can lose a lot of battles. Amen. Especially coming to God. And then if you look back on them, the battles that you lost, they will help you right now. Amen. They will help you right now. Because you lost that. I, I heard other leaders uh, talking, they said they failed many times. All right. Uh, especially, you know, uh, some of the other brethren. And they said they have failed a lot of times. Amen. But once they found out why they was failing, they did just the opposite. And that's all you have to do. Quit doing the things that cause you to fear. Quit doing the things that cause you, hallelujah, to go into sin. When sin start approaching you, on that right then and there, to you do it, so I call it Scratch out on him right then. I'm telling you something. Amen. When you feel like sin is going to overtake you, you start calling Jesus. Amen. Right there. Literally calling his name. Why is it power in the name of Jesus? Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know about you, but I love him. I love him yeah. because uh, he has made a way for us. We can make it. All right. Hallelujah. We can make it as saints of God. If you sincere and if you upfront with the Lord, hallelujah, if you confess to the Lord about me, think God will deliver you. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I don't even want to get into it. I don't right. want to get into sin. I don't I, I you know, I I rather I rather I rather divide from whatever it is want to cause me to sin. Don't want to leave it alone. Isn't that right? Amen. Because 
I want to make it into God's kingdom. That should be your ultimate goal, is to make it in his kingdom. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And temptation is going to come. All right. But remember, God is able to deliver you. In the name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. James 1, 13 and 14, let us know. Hallelujah. Let no man say when he is tempted. I am tempted of God. Let no man. Amen. No man. Uh, let, let me throw some out there for those who say, well, I'm not filled with the Holy Ghost. Uh, I'm telling you tonight for you, for your knowledge. Amen. God, I want you to say that he tempted you. That's right. I mean, you hear so many saying, the Lord tempted me. Now, God, don't tempt anyone. Amen. Is that right? That's right. And no man should say this. And, and, and God forsake that in it. Save Christ. Say that I'm tempted. The word gonna say something else here. That what? For I, I am tempted of God. I am tempted of God. For God cannot tempt with evil. The Bible said God cannot be cannot. tempted. God cannot be tempted with evil. With evil. God cannot Amen. be tempted with evil. God cannot be tempted with evil. Now listen to the next. Neither tempted he any man. Since God can't do it, he won't allow it to be done to you. God is good, ain't he? Amen. Oh, you ought to love him. Hallelujah. He said, and then the word let us know that he, he, he just won't let it be done. Amen. Hallelujah. He won't let it be done. And he, he let us know, he said, neither tempt he in it, man. Amen. Not like God. God is a just God. Amen. Unlike me. God is just. Mm -hmm. God is always righteous. God is always looking out for his own. Yes. Yeah, yeah. uh, he looked out for the sinners too. I want you to know tonight. Yeah, he does. He looked out. He reigns on the just as well as the unjust. Amen. It's not God's will that any should fall. Amen. You ought to love him. Amen. You ought to love him. Said, but uh, every, every man, man is tempted. But every man is tempted. When he is drawn, he is drawn away, away of his own lust. Of his own lust. And enticed. And, and enticed. Yeah, when you get to lust in that something. All right. I mean, you, you, you're, you, uh, I'm going to tell you, when you start seeing some things that are not so decent, not so wholesome, and you want to do those things, you ought to start praying right there and then. All right. Amen. So, so many folks let your God down. Hold your guard up. Huh? Keep fighting. Yeah, because uh, these things are going to happen to you as human beings. Okay. Yeah, even as saints of God, the things are going to happen to you. But don't let your guard down. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't let it go. But, but every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust. Amen. Of what? Of his own Amen. This thing is in you. That's and when you right. find out something is in you, honey, you ought to start pleading the blood against you. Hallelujah. Tell God to move it out of here. That, that's why so many Paul and the day and time that we're living in, you let stuff stay there. Yes. Amen. Uh, I never forget as a young saint, I used to feel something, feel like it was growing in my chest. Hallelujah. And I would get overwhelmed. I learned to start praying about it. When I found out it was growing down, mm -hmm. yeah, I started praying and rebuking it. Mm -hmm. Send it back. I tell God to take it, Lord. I used to hear my old pastor say, send it back to the lake. I ain't know I don't know where God will send it to the lake right then. All right. I, I say the same thing. Because he, he, he knew that I didn't want it. All right. Amen. And God Intervene. I tell the Lord to move it. Don't let it stay here, Lord. Because I, I ain't going to hate nobody. I ain't going to do nobody no wrong, no uh, uh, anything as such, you know. I truly wanted to be, when I was a saint, a young saint, a young saint, I'm, I'm a older saint now. Right. There's some things I just know and know not to get into. But back 
being out of learning. And, and sometimes you get into some things, honey, you have time trying to get out. All right. Amen. But I learned to tell Jesus all about it. I heard our pastor preach. He said, tell Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. And I learned to tell Jesus In the about name. things that was happening to me and my own. I, I still got it down there to tell Jesus about it. Mm -hmm. Something you can't handle. Something you can't do nothing about. Hallelujah. But tell Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. And leave it alone. Tell Jesus about it. And leave it alone. God, I know that God worked out things in the past. All right. I know that he's the same God on the throne. And he's going to work it out for you now. Somebody, Amen. some young person need this out here. Yes. Uh, need this tonight. Hallelujah. Tell him all, right. all about it. What's happening to you? How you feel about things? How the enemy is trying to come up on you? What is happening in your life right now? Tell Jesus about Amen. it. Hallelujah. Nobody can work it out like him. Yes. Hallelujah. Again, he's in the category all by himself. Amen. You'll wonder, how did he do it? Again, the song said, how I got over Amen. to my soul and look back and wonder oh, how I got over. Amen. It was God that brought you out. In the name. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when, when we're tempted, uh, no one should say God tempted me. Amen. Mm -hmm. And God he knows, God knows, for God cannot be tempted of, by evil. Amen. Not does he tempt Amen. anyone. Amen. So, quit saying that. God is the one that helps us. Amen. God is the one that delivers us. God is the one that comes in and bless every good. Perfect gift come from God. If it's good, God did it. Amen. 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 The Bible let us know that he that covered his sin uh -huh. shall not prosper. He that covered his sin. I'm talking to those who are sinning. Amen. You got a lot of church folk now just in the sin. Amen. They don't they don't reverence God. They're in the sin. Amen. And the word of God telling you, if you enter this and you don't like those things, he right. that covered his sin shall not prosper. But whosoever confesses and forsake them right. shall have mercy. How many of you that? Amen. God said you shall have mercy. If you try to covet, mm -hmm, you don't want to get rid of it anyway. Amen. I thank God I had some great pastors, great pastors. Uh, they would tell you to crucify the this flesh. Now, I'm not telling you to get up before sinners confessing sin, but you, you need to let, hallelujah, sometimes let, in, in private, let, let the, uh, let the minister know what's going on in your life. All right. Sometimes when you let the minister know what's going on in your life, he is supposed to be one that is uh, that will hold that secret. Yeah, don't let nobody else know. Okay. He is the one to lay hands on you. And sometimes they can cast, if you got demons, you cast those demons out. If you got something that, that, is, that, is, that, is, that is hard for you to get, get, uh, get rid of, that outer trial, Amen. Mm -hmm. he can pray for you. Yeah. That's why you need to let him know. I have to go, go, go to God, you know. Sometimes you need some earthly help. All right. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and if you have the power to go to God and get it done, as long as you get it done, get that right? Yeah, so you can, what? So you can serve God and worship Amen. God. A, a lot of folks are bound now. You see them sitting in the church, they can't clap their hands. They looking all up and looking all around. Paying attention to somebody else, reading books and stuff. You bound. Amen. You need to you need to be delivered. Huh? Yeah. You need to be delivered. Some folks in in so much sin that, that sin be worn with you yeah. day and night. In the name of I didn't know these things, preacher called when when I was out there in sin, it wall. 
I had a war, I had a battle every day. Mm -hmm. Every day when I got busy working on my job, I kind of forgot about it. But when I stopped, when I started eating my lunch, sitting down by myself, not talking to anybody, those things worried me all oh, day long. When you were in sin, hallelujah, God let you know that you ought to confess Amen. your sin. Is that right? Mm -hmm. right. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. And just let us know that he's faithful and just to give, to forgive you of your sin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's that kind of a God. You need forgiveness yeah. from the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah, you, 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 you need that. All right. uh, a lot of folks think, well, I don't need nothing, you know. I'm born the way I'm born. Uh, and you, you feel like you love that, that sin right now. Mm -hmm. But it will be your downfall. Yeah. Watch what I tell you. All right. It will be your downfall. And you, you cannot be in sin and continue in sin. And on and on, on and on. In the long run, it will destroy you. Amen. Yeah. It will tear you down. We call it to the lowest term. Find out that finally you won't be nothing. Amen. Let God help you yeah. through your temptation. In the name Young of men, let God help you through your temptation. Young ladies, let God help you in your temptation. And nowadays, it, 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 the old and the young, everybody all mixed up now. Let God. In your temptation. Amen. The Bible tells us to, to submit yourself. All right. Mm -hmm. Therefore, to God, resist the devil, mm -hmm. and he will flee from you. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to resist him by fighting him with every weapon Amen. you have. Yeah, you're going to resist him by fighting with every weapon. If you can't, if you, if, if you can't move by praying, so I fast. Amen. You can't move by fasting, go and get in the wood. You can't move with that way, start bleeding the blood. In the name Hallelujah. of Jesus. Every tool you know how to use to get rid of, huh? To get rid of that uh, 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 the devil. Because he, he's coming, he's coming to really tear you down to Amen. the limits. Yeah, he's coming to destroy you. Yeah. When you feel the pressure. Mm -hmm. you, you, you go to God. Submit yourself, therefore, to God. And resist. Hallelujah. Fight him. Fight him. Mm -hmm. and, you, and you can't handle it by yourself. You got to put Jesus on him. You got to put Jesus on him. He's he, he been, he been around too long. Uh, yeah, he was the most subtile in the garden. He still <laughs> one of the most subtile yeah, right yeah. now is the devil. He come at you all kind of ways. Amen. You know, since I've been saying he come at me all kind of ways. But honey, I know to turn to the Lord. No, I know to start fasting. I know to get in my word. I know how to do it. Start bleeding the blood. I know to keep my mind on Jesus. I know to get more consecrated. Amen. Is that right? Because I, I, I don't want to go down in the hand of the enemy. And you don't have to. I mean, with every tool you know. If you don't, if you don't have the Holy Ghost, if you haven't received the Holy Ghost, uh, yeah, yeah. That, that's why the Father said in Acts, uh, the 19th chapter, have you received the Holy Ghost since yeah. you believe? But we have not so much as heard whether he in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. He said, unto what then were you baptized? He said, unto John baptism. He said, John Zero the baptized with the baptism of repentance.
resist the devil, resist him, and he will flee from you. I just told you something. You don't resist him by receiving the Holy Ghost. Those of you who are in the church that doesn't have the Holy Ghost, you don't have a restraint. Hallelujah. You want to receive the Holy Ghost. Amen. So you have a restraint. You won't have to fight all by yourself. You got a battle on your hand when you're trying to fight this enemy by yourself. But receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, uh, let's, let me go ahead and finish up. God's truly good. Uh, Ephesians 6, 10, 11. Finally, my brethren, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. In the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God. You have to put on the whole armor. Hallelujah. The whole armor of God. Read his word. Get as much word in as you can. Be filled with his spirit. Hallelujah. Go from one level to another. Get stronger and strong in the Lord. Come to church. Come to Sunday school. Yeah, yeah, come to church and praise him and lift him up. Learn how to get a praise in your mouth, Amen. a praise on your lip. Huh? Yeah, and it's more to it than what I'm telling you. But, this, you know, when, 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 when you don't have time to look at everything and study it, start praising God. Tell God how much you love him. Tell God how much you trust him. Yeah. Tell God that you need him. Start lifting him up. Lifting him up, praising him, praising him more and more. Hallelujah. And the Lord will come in. The Lord will come in. All that we told you tonight, God will come in and do it yeah. in your life. He said, put on the whole arm of God that, that he may be able, able to stand, stand against the wild of the rise. Devil. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. That 16 verse said what? Amen. And then that 16 verse going to tell us. Above, above all. Above all. Taking the shield of faith. Taking the shield of faith. Wherewith ye shall Where be, able, ye shall to be quench able to quench all the fiery darts of, of the wicked. All the of the wicked. Hallelujah. That, that tells us we're going to have the victory. That's right. If you just do it like God said. If you trust in the Lord. If you believe in him. Hallelujah. Step back. Hallelujah. And let God do it. Amen. Step back and let God do it. When, when you don't know what to do, start crying out to him. Yeah. Say, come Lord. Help, Lord. Come, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Come fight this battle for me. All it's right. too much for me. Amen. I've been trying to handle it, but it's getting me down now, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Let him come in and let him step in, honey. I want you to know in earthly language, we, we say he's a champion. Yes. He never lost a battle. And let me tell you something, young folk. He's not about to lose any battle. It's good to live this it's good to live it like God wants us to live it. Let me tell you something too tonight. Bless your name. In the end, you won't regret it. Yeah. I mean, you know that every one of us got an end. That's right. And in the end, you won't regret what God has for us. You won't regret doing the right thing. Amen. Don't you love him tonight? Amen. Don't you love him? You ought to, if you don't love him, you ought to love the Lord Jesus Christ. He's the one that died for you and uh -huh. for you. He's coming back again. How we say it? He's coming back for a church. Yeah. Without spot or wrinkle or insert thing. Don't you know he's on his way back? All right. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. We better stop tonight. Thank God for all things in Jesus' name. We're about ready to go. I want to encourage you to hold on to the Lord Jesus Christ's hand. We are trying to prepare to come back in the church. Amen. I think uh, uh, Sister Mitchell has already put on the internet that we want to take names of those uh, who have had the shots and what have you. If she hasn't been, she will do it in, in the future. Yeah, we, we want to try to find out something about what you're doing. Then we, we're going to bring in so many at a time. We're not going to bring in a lot. A lot of people right now, I'm hearing good news uh, nationally uh, in, in, in America that about, America is doing about 50% better now. Amen. 
that let us do things are getting better. Amen. And as things get better, then we're going to do better. We're going to ease back in. Somebody said, yo, a lot of churches already back in. But I found out that folks are still, you know, catching the coronavirus. And, and COVID-19 is still catching it. So you have to still be cautious. You must wear your mask still. Amen, and you, you you must keep that distance between everyone in the church and I'm in I, I'm in the stores and whatever. And today I was in Lo in Lowe's. Excuse me now, but I see folks are still they got the lines, and you stand behind that line. All right. Amen, and it's it's almost a law. The law in their place. So let's do that. We're about ready to go. Thank God for everyone. Love everyone. Hope everyone. Love me. Hope to see you. Yeah, uh, rather you see me on Friday night. Amen. Amen. We, Mother Chris will be bringing our Sunday school lesson. Read your Sunday school lesson. Be ready. Amen. Amen. And if you have any questions, just, you know, uh, call me and let me know you got questions. Uh, you, you see me on Sunday morning. Let us know that you have questions. Is that right? <laughs> Amen. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. We're about ready to go. All hearts are clear. Amen. Amen. May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet communion, that the Holy Ghost rest, rule, and abide, and the peace of God may be with you. Amen. Amen. Amen.